Hello toy fans! Today I'm going to be reviewing something very simple, very cute, and really perfect for Easter. This is uh, Grow a Peep, and even though it is done uh, in the same model and design as the candy peeps, the uh, marshmallow candy peeps, this was actually created in conjunction with a company called Little Kids Inc. So it's intended for children ages 3 and above. And it's very simple. All you have to do is take the egg out of the packaging and it comes in a little um, tube, a little plastic tube. So you just add water, a bunny or a chick will hatch and it will grow to three times its size, but you have to leave it in the water for 24 hours or 48 hours in order for it to grow to its full size. And in fact, I would actually even recommend leaving it in the third day just to make sure that it's absolutely maximum potential. So essentially, um, this is very easy to do and the instructions are very clear. So you just put water in, you see the number one, the um, the egg is in the container, number two, you add water, number three, the egg starts to fizzle, number four, you either get the bunny or the chick, then you pour out the old water, put new water in, and then just let it sit and grow for a couple of days. So um, it takes about 20 minutes for the egg to break open, and then you can see if you have a bunny or a chick, and they said it would go to four, full size after 48 hours, but again, keeping it in an extra day, just kind of gives it a little extra time just to reach total maximum potential. So the company was actually nice enough to send me two of these. So this one I opened up and um, I did this about two days ago and a pink chick hatched from the egg. And what's interesting is that when I initially got this, the egg was yellow. So just because you have a yellow egg, or in this case, it's a blue egg, does not necessarily mean that you're going to get either like a blue figurine or a yellow figurine. Like my egg was yellow, I got a pink chick. So I think that that adds another element of surprise to it that's really nice. And so when you when you leave these in the border, and I said they will grow, and then they start to detach from the little, um, the little spot that they're initially adhered to when they're in the egg, but um, when you take them out of the water, they're very, they're obviously not edible, but they're very soft. They're, um, and when you take them out of the water, I think that they will shrink down into normal size again. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is open this one and just show you how I assembled this. And again, it's easier said than done to open these because I have one hand holding the camera. Wait a second. Okay. So when you take this out, take it out. And here is the egg in the little container. It initially had plastic around it, but I did take the plastic off before starting the video. And then I just have some Poland spring water. Now, it is always easier to um, use, always probably a better idea to use water like Poland spring or water that's been boiled in a kettle rather than just out of the sink. You probably can use water out of, right out of the sink, but I don't know, I just find that um, this kind of water, like natural water, I guess you call it distilled water, uh, works a little bit better. So anyway, what you do is you just fill the water up into the cup, like this. And you see, it's going to start to fizzle, turns the water blue. And now you just let it sit, and it's going to fizzle, and it will eventually turn into either a chick or a bunny. And then we will see what color it is and what size it turns out to be. But that's really all that it takes to do this. Um, very, very easy, very simple to set up. It's, it's intended for ages three plus. And uh, you can get these actually, like these are singles. And I think that the singles sell for about maybe $5 or so a pack. But I've seen them in the um, BJ's wholesale store. And there's like five of them in a pack, I believe, five or six of them in a pack. And it's for something like $10, which I think is a great deal. This is a lot of fun for little kids. It's fun. It's a fun activity to do, you know, to the follow up or rather to the lead up to Easter. Like when you are um, coloring Easter eggs, you could also do an activity like this. Or you could even leave a couple of these in an Easter basket and it would be a nice little gift. So, um, yeah, so I will inf check the comment, the comment box below because I will tell you in the comments below what color this turned out to be and whether it was a chick or a bunny and thank you for watching my video so to check out more videos uh, look back onto my channel and uh, hopefully subscribe to me thank you for watching bye